rules and regulations given to you by f schools are pretty much your Bible. They should be on your nightstand, they should be in your shower, laminated, and they should be on your desk every day. It's definitely important to read and understand the rules. It is a massive document, especially at the World Finals, you have two different documents that one oversees the other, and you have to make sure you know them backwards. It gives you a very streamlined focus in the competition, and you're supposed to be following that to the dot. You could make a car that looks really good and it looks really quick, and then you realise you can't do any of the cool features you've added to it because they're not within the rules. I definitely think people should strive towards bending the rules as much as possible. You can use the rules and you have to figure out how to manipulate it in your favour. We're trying to push it as far as we can to get it still within the rules but as aerodynamic as possible. You have to see if it really gets to the advantage or if it's just a too great risk. Some rules are critical rules. This means if you break those rules, you instantly cannot get fastest car, first place, best engineered car. And that's instantly just a massive hit to the team. Every rule that you break, especially critical regulations, could cost your team a huge bulk of the competition. It's heartbreaking when you get docked points and penalties because you know those points could have been that extra trek on the rules and regulations and those penalties could be the difference between first and second. This past year, we broke a critical regulation at the World Finals, and it almost cost us our entire trip. It is so important to understand the rules and regulations. It's just little things that always count. Checking the rules multiple times is to ensure that you're getting the maximum points you possibly can for your car, because you want your creation to do the best it can. Don't see it as uh, limitations, but see it as opportunities. How can you use those rules that you have in order to create a wonderful car, a really great car?